going to start with a question to your right. Hi, Hannah. It's Jasmine Woods Daily. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. What Thank you. was it like for you to get involved in a project like Black Panther and create the world of Wakanda? Well, I was going to get involved with the project because of Ryan Coogler. I had worked with him on two previous films, so there was never any doubt in my mind that I wanted to do the film because I know what Ryan would bring to it and what it would become, not just a superhero film, but a film for the ages. So, you know, it was about me getting the, the project, <laughs> about Marvel, you know, sort of being convinced that I could do this project more than about me wanting to do the project because I, I, wanted, I wanted to work with Ryan. We'll go to 27 and then to 5. Uh, Hannah, Mark Williams here on your right. It's Hi. been about a year since I've had the pleasure of interviewing you for um, my column on your, on your collaborations then with the other visual department heads. So talk a little bit, especially winning Oscars in tandem, about those collaborations and then in a reprise of what I asked Ruth, your, your inspirations both in terms of uh, African history and of course comic book history. You know, uh, in collaborating with Rachel Morrison, Ruth Carter, Jay Hart, my set decorator, I mean, that's just how you make films, you collaborate. It's a collaborative medium in the way that we, we do it, because we're all visual and we all, you know, bring, bring that to the, to the table. Um, part two of your question, I don't remember at all because I'm just totally freaking out right now. So that, I mean, that's, do you know, right? I just, I'm like holding this and I'm like trying to be super ser serious about like, yeah, and then, you know, when we did the Mpunlaga, you know, honestly, I'm like, is, this is so yellow. So you'll have to excuse me because I am literally losing my mind. Um, but I will say a lot of the inspiration that came from the continent came, came about from really where we located Wakanda on the continent because if people were gonna migrate, they were gonna migrate around that area. So we took a very anthropological look at how uh, the country was um, placed in, in the um, continent, on the continent. And then from there, you know, you've got your Oma Valley tribes that are sort of um, south east, uh, yeah, southeast in Ethiopia. So, you know, it's like they migrated down to Wakanda. That became our river tribe. So that's sort of how we begun, that's how, sort of how we began to sort of, all right, naturally these people would have migrated to this area for these reasons. And so these are our inspirations as far as like, you know, we wanted to be as real as we could. And then I just don't remember anything else you asked because I'm totally in another world right now. Sorry, did that sound, was that rude? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to go to five and then 63. Hi, Hannah. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Tonight. Uh, both at the Art Directors Guild Awards and tonight you talked about finding those moments where you stayed stronger. I wonder if you can reflect now, especially holding the Oscar, about those points where you felt insecure and how you managed to keep yourself going. I mean, I think as creatives, you know, you're, you, everyone goes through moments of struggle, depression, like, I, this is so hard, I'm not going to be able to make it and do it. And it's really about the people you surround yourself with. So having Jay, having Victoria Alonso and Kevin Feige and Nate Moore and Ryan Coogler, of course, and Zinzi Coogler, um, there being patient and lifting me up every day. I mean, that's how you get through it. It's like eating an elephant one spoonful at a time because Panther was just ginormous and there was a lot to do and a lot of research and a 500 page Bible and then previously before that a 400 page Bible. You know, we just, it was nonstop. So you lean on the people um, that you love and that are family and I would consider, you know, Ryan and, and everyone on Panther part of my family. We're going to 63 and then 248, I think. Sorry, yeah, 248. <laughs> Hi, Hannah. It's, um, it's Tanja from The Root. Hi. I, I Hi. remember, yes, I remember we interviewed yes. and I told you, um, I predicted that a little black girl is going to be watching you and, and be inspired by you. So I want to ask, what would you say to her and other black creators for the future of production design? Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do this craft. You are worthy, and you are beautiful, and this is something for you. That's what I would tell them. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to go to 248, and then I do need to wrap it up, so we'll end with 258. 
Hi, Hannah. This is Brooke Obie Hi. with Shadow and Act. Hi. Congratulations to you. We were all rooting for you. Thank so you so much. This is very exciting. Um, so just piggyback off of that question, I'm wondering if there was any advice that you were ever given that you feel pretty much changed the course of your career. There was, I've been given so much advice over the years, and every bit of it has changed everything. I think the, the advice that changed everything for me the most was when I arrived in Oakland all those years ago with Ryan on the first day, and he said, um, you know what, just be honest and be truthful and be you, because if you don't, if you're not yourself, then, you know, this is never going to work. And that's the best advice I got. And we'll end with 258. Congratulations. Over here, Hannah. Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm Fine. Samantha Laverne Grant with blackinamerica.com. Congratulations on making history tonight. Thank you. Talk to me a little bit about, very quickly, what resonated with you when you first stepped on Black Panther set. On the sets? On the set. Uh, the finished sets, I mean, the first, the first set that I walked onto that was completed was the casino, and I was driving into work, and I knew that they were finishing up the night before, and the stage door happened to be opened, and I thought, let me pull over and walk in. Nobody was there, and the lights were on. And I walked in, and I, I walked to the middle of that set, and I just fell to my knees and cried, because I never thought I would be there. I never thought that I would ever have that opportunity to do something on that scale. I never thought that, I never saw anyone like me have an opportunity to do something like that on that scale. I attribute that to Ryan Coogler and Marvel Films. But it felt like it does now. Thank you so much and congratulations to both of you. Thank you.